Yeah. What's good, y'all, man? Now, look, a lot of y'all was asking me in my two-way player how I made a two-way player, how I play both sides of the ball with my player. Now, look, there's two ways you could do this. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it the first way. Now, if you seen my video on how to make any position in, in the little career thing or whatever, it's basically that, but there's like a way to be able to play both sides of the ball. So, I'm first of all, I'm going to go ahead and just make a cornerback. You could do... Basically, this way you can make your player be a cornerback, a safety, or whatever, and be on the other side. Or you could be like a receiver or running back and be on the other side. But we can do cornerback for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and create this player real quick. And then, you know what I'm saying? And now once you're done creating that player, go ahead and just make sure that your player is actually on the team that you saved them to. Because sometimes Madden be tripping and you know what I'm saying? They will not put him on. So go ahead and edit rosters, manage players, and make sure that he's on that team. I made him a 99 overall just so he could just be at the top of the depth chart for now. So you know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? And then you want to go ahead and go to friend. I do not play that superstar mode stuff at all. I go straight to franchise mode. So you can go to franchise and then go to use active roster. So it's going to download the roster that you currently have. So your player is going to be in there when you do it. It's going to take a little bit to load though. And then you can go ahead and send the regular season you want to to go ahead and do the draft class. Now the second way to do that I do it is by getting drafted to a team. So I'm gonna send them to the regular season so that I can go ahead and be ready for the second variation of this method. Just, for, just so I can, you know what I'm saying? All right, first thing you wanna do is go to depth chart and then make your player the slot cornerback on the depth chart. It's gonna, you're gonna have to hold R1, go up, I mean R, R2 or RT, and then scroll up, put your player at number one slot cornerback. And then after you add slot cornerback, you go to manage roster, NFL rosters, you want to edit your player, and you're going to basically change your, you can change your position to any position on the field other than quarterback. Because I tried to do that quarterback before, that did not work. You can do receiver, I did that receiver, I did that running back, you can do any of those positions you want to do for now, we're just going to go ahead and just do receiver just, you know what I'm saying? But on my, on my series I did for my career, I'm a running back and a cornerback. So on here, we're going to go ahead and just do receiver for now. You know you did it right. If you go to depth chart, if you go back to depth chart and check slot cornerback, it's going to be an empty space at number one slot cornerback. And that means your player is still there, but he's still a wide receiver. So you can see I'm wide receiver. But if I go ahead and scroll up to slot cornerback, I'm still going to be there technically. It's just an empty spot. So now I'm going to go ahead and show y'all that it actually works. You just go into the game. And you're, you're gonna actually have to player lock on offense and defense. You have to stay as a coach if you wanna do it this way. You're just gonna have to player lock on offense and defense. This is literally how I do all my careers now. I don't play none of that superstar mode stuff. I don't do the normal franchise player thing that they be doing. I, you know, I feel like you'd be a lot more creative with doing this. It's a lot more fun this way. And sometimes like if you have like amazing stats and you're blowing out the other team, you can sub yourself out of the game so that yo you don't continue getting stats. Like you know what I'm saying? When when the star player is going great and everything, your team is up by a lot, you gonna sit out. So as you see I play locked onto myself as a cornerback and then I'm finna go ahead super sim. Since you can do super sim, that also makes it a lot better. You can use super sim in this and you can go ahead and go straight to offense. If you don't feel like playing defense, you can do only offense. And then as you can see, I'm going to be out here at wide receiver as well. Now, as fun as this is, being able to play both sides of the ball as one player, the only bad thing is, depending on what secondary position you chose, like, if you choose to be, uh, uh, if you did it as a slot receiver, like, you flip it around, you be a receiver first, make you a slot receiver, and then change the cornerback, your cornerback stats will record, but your receiver stats wouldn't. But since here, I'm a slot cornerback and a mainly receiver, my cornerback stats aren't going to really count. In the gap of the game, it's going to show that. But if you go to the, the season stats, it's not going you know to so show, which kind of sucks. But you can kind of like probably just write it down or something. I don't know. Now, basically, for the second version of doing this, you can do it the draft way. If you don't want to just get put onto a team right away, you can go ahead and get drafted. You just go to choose draft class, and you're going to download one from Madden Share. 
and this is the one I use. And as y'all can see, we got Caleb Williams, Marvin Harrison, Drake Mann, all these players here. You want to click your left stick down and go to edit draft class. Now look, what I do, I'll go to the overall grade, put a square, and it will actually basically give me the lowest overall player in the in the draft class. And that's who I will edit, so I'm not editing anybody who's probably going to be good. So for, here, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and edit this guy as a cornerback. Basically, is it, you know what I'm saying? Just go ahead and edit him right real quick. All right, now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and press triangle on your player and then you basically gonna insert him into like a round basically i put him like top 15. you're not gonna get drafted at the projected draft this is gonna put you around where you're gonna get drafted depending on how they scout you and stuff but you got to do it two times press triangle on your player and then insert him above a different player you're gonna have, you got to do it twice because the game's trash it's not gonna work the first time for some reason but press circle go to save exit and then at this point, you just go ahead and sim auto into the draft. And now once you sim to the draft, you want to go ahead and sim the draft unless you want to, you know, actually see what happens. And I just sim it and then by the time it sim, it might take a little bit to sim. But then you want to go ahead and just go to draft recap and see which team drafted your player. And as y'all can see, I was drafted number three to the Lions. So what I'm going to have to go ahead and do is press circle, go to options, press R1 all the way to options. Go to retire. It's not gonna make you retire from the league because you're gonna go to create a new character. Go to yes, and then find the team that you want. Go to lines. You know what I'm saying? We just stand as a coach. Now before, I would actually go to player. I would do player control, but this year I'm doing straight. Like I'm straight playing as a coach because I can use the simcast thing, so I don't gotta play the entire game, especially when we already up and I don't want no more stats. I'm, I try to keep. I try to keep my career as realistic as as realistic as possible so when i'm blowing out a team i sub myself out which is really good about being the coach you got to sub yourself out now you want to send the regular season and basically do exactly what you did with the last player you know what i'm saying now for this one i'm gonna show you that it works other ways than just slot cornerback and receiver this time i'm gonna be a wide receiver i'm gonna make myself a slot receiver and then i'm also gonna be a free safety so you go ahead and make your play, player a receiver go to depth chart be, make your player the slot receiver and then change your position to free safety. Go ahead and just do that real quick. And now, now y'all can see I'm in the game and I am player locked on to myself, which is the free safety. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this play right here real quick. A little holding, whatever. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to offense and I'm also gonna be the slot receiver. Now as you can see, I'm also the slot receiver, you know what I'm saying? So I just showed y'all how to do it in two ways. You can do the normal way, you can do the draft way. Honestly, draft way might be a little funner so that you're not on the team that you already know you're gonna be on. You're gonna get drafted to a team that actually needs you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do this, if it's fun and stuff, let me know in the comments, you feel me? Now with this way, actually, yo, receiver stats obviously aren't gonna count anymore, but it's cool though, really. It's, it's all about just having fun at the end of the day.